When your music design is more professional, your video will come up better and more advanced. And that's why we have created this series. In the first two episodes, we have explained in detail the basic structure of the pop music and how to work with the music length to reconstruct it in VideoProc Vlogger. And if you haven't watched that, go to the link in the top right corner to check that out. Alright, back to today's topic. If the structure of the music is not so clear, or it requires us to piece together multiple songs to coordinate the emotion change in the music, then what techniques should we use exactly to make that happen? If you're interested in this one, join me for today's video. Free download Video Pro Vlogger through the link we put in the description box down below. Launch your software. Create a new project. Import the two songs we wish to paste together. First, drag one of the songs to the audio track. We can see that the waveform is relatively flat. Now let's listen to it. And we can feel that the rhythm is not very strong. So here, we are going to go with the weak beat to weak beat. Find a position where the waveform is gentle. Use split tool to cut it out. Then, find the plus icon on the far left of the audio track. Click it to add a new audio track. Drag the second music in. You can see that the first half of the waveform is quite smooth, so we we'll use a mouse to adjust its duration. Then, move it to align with a gentle part in the first piece to make the two sections overlap. Then we add a fading effect to the second track in the inspector, and add a fade out effect to the first one. This is what we usually call cross fade effect which can make the music collection come out more lateral. Now, the joining project is finished. Let's listen to the music again to see if it switches laterally. Similar to the wake beat, when you come across a piece of music like this one, the structure of the music is not clear and concise, but incorporate a lot of strong beats. We can use a technique of collecting the strong beats to get what we want. First, find high point in the waveform. Use the shortcut M to give it a mark. Listen to it briefly. Cut out this section. Find another high point and mark it. Listen to it and cut out this section as well. Finally, find another high point near the end of the track and cut it out. Then adjust the position of the three sections. And make sure there is some overlap between each of them. And then add a cross fade effect to them. Now we have a complete and coherent piece of music like this.
This collection method is actually using the drop or break point in one piece of music to join the beginning of the second piece of music. For example, listen to this one. We can clearly hear the music has a drop here, so this is where it falls. Drag the mouse to call the second half of the music. Then, drag the second music to auto track 1. When we deal with this kind of non-music, we can use a waveform to quickly locate its starting point. For example, these two steep waveforms. We click on the speaker icon in the audio track to temporarily turn off the sound. Move the playhead to one of the sections. Then, zoom in on the timeline. Add a marker on it and play it. And we can feel the similar pause. So we just need to cut out this section. Move it to the right position to overlap with the first piece of music. Add a fading effect to it. Then enable the audio track. Add a fade out effect to the first track. Listen to the effect now. As you try the first three methods in your editing, but still end up with such a broad music patchwork. You might want to try using other vocals or sound effects to achieve the sound transition. For example, here I import a voice transition sound effect. Then add an audio track. Drag the sound effect to audio track 2. Adjust its position to the transition between the two music tracks. Now feel it again. Alright, hope these tips for seamless music transitions would be very helpful in your video editing. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy!